Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to use Navbase classifier with Gaussian distribution to handle continuous valued attributes. This is the solved example number 10. The link for other examples is given in the description below. In this example, we have been given the data set with 14 instances and 4 attributes outlook, temperature, humidity, and wind. Play tennis is the target variable here. Out of these 4 attributes, outlook and wind are discrete valued attributes because they have discrete number of possibilities here but if you look at this uh, temperature and humidity both of them are continuous valued attributes because we have continuous values for these particular attributes here given this particular data set we want to classify the new example where outlook is equal to overcast temperature is equal to 60 humidity is equal to 62 and wind is equal to false into one of the classes either no or you can say that yes here now to do this uh, we need to use the base classifier in base classifier the very first thing we need to do is to calculate the uh, prior probabilities that is probability of yes and probability of no here probability of yes is always equivalent to the number of yes examples divided by total number of examples if you count here we will get 9 yes examples out of 14 examples so 9 by 14 is probability of yes here similarly if you count no number of examples we have 5 no examples out of 14 so you get probability of no is equal to 5 by 14 in this case so we have calculated the prior probabilities now we need to calculate something called as the conditional probabilities that is uh, in our example we have been given uh, outlook is equal to overcast and wind is equal to false here so first we will target these two things because uh, these two are uh, discrete valued attributes here so if i look at this particular condition that is outlook is equal to overcast we need to calculate probability of outlook is equal to overcast given yes and one more is probability of out outlook is equal to overcast given no here now how many number of yes examples are there totally as i said earlier nine yes examples are there so that is the reason we have to write divided by nine here similarly how many number of no examples are there five no examples that's the reason it is divided by five here now one more thing is uh, numerator that numerator is uh, written based on this particular condition that is outlook is equal to overcast in yes examples now if you see here outlook is equal to overcast is present here present over here this is the third one and this is the fourth one it is coming four times in all the four cases we have i think yes only here so you can see here everywhere it is yes only so you can say that four uh, yes uh, outlook is equal to overcast yes examples are there so 4 divided by 9 in this case similarly outlook is equal to overcast given no no that's a 5 examples are there but how many outlook is equal to overcast in no examples we don't have anything here so that's the reason we have 0 by 5 here so what is the probability you got 0 in this particular case coming back to the next one that is wind is equal to false so what we need to calculate probability of wind is equal to false given yes probability of wind is equal to false given no we need to calculate Again, given yes is uh, 9 examples, given no is equal to 5. So, we will get a denominator 9 and 5 respectively here. Wind is equal to false, given yes. So, wind is equal to false where it is present. This is the first one, second one, third one, fourth one, fifth, sixth, seventh and then eight. So, totally eight examples are there. Out of eight, how many uh, uh, yes examples are there we need to count? I think this is the first one, second one, third one fourth one fifth one and then we can say sixth one so six yes examples are there or you can say it is present in uh, six time in yes examples so that's the reason it is six by nine in no examples how many number of times wind is equal to false is present so uh, this is the first one i think here and uh, there should be one more here i think you can see this is a one more that is a wind is equal to false given no here that is two years that is two by five in this case but if you look at this particular probability, this is 0, uh, that 0 is not acceptable in the Navbase classifier because if you multiply this 0 with anything, you will get 0 as the posterior probability. That is not acceptable. Uh, this is also called as zero probability problem in Navbase classifier. How to handle this zero probability issue, I have already discussed in detail. The link for that video is given in the description below. So do follow that video to understand how to avoid a zero probability problem in Navbase classifier. Again, I'll briefly explain that particular concept over here also. Now, considering this one, it is not possible to continue from here onwards. So, we need to change these two probabilities. This is not possible to continue here. So, that's the reason I will use something called as uh, the Laplace, uh, Laplace estimator over here. 
so uh, in laplace estimator we use this equation that equation is uh, probability of uh, laplace given k of x given y which is equal to c of x comma y plus k c of y plus k into x here so this particular x is the attribute and y is the target over here so how many number of times this x appears in this particular y examples plus k is uh, the any value greater than 0 so it should be 1 or any value you can consider here and uh, this c of y is the number of uh, y examples over here and what is this particular x x is nothing but how many number of times uh, this particular uh, uh, attribute value appears over here for example uh, if you consider uh, in this particular case uh, this outlook uh, is equal to overcast we are trying to calculate so this outlook has three possibilities sunny overcast and rain so we consider x is equal to 3 over here if we have uh, only two possibilities we would have considered x is equal to 2 over here so if you consider x is equal to 3 uh, this uh, probability of outlook is equal to overcast given s will become how many number of time uh, outlook is equal to overcast given s is there that is four times it is present x is equal k is equal to 1 you can consider initially how many number of time s examples are there 9 k is equal to 1 x is equal to 3 it will become 9 plus 3 here so total value is equal to 0.4167 here similarly uh, outlook is equal to overcast given no how many examples are there 0 and uh, plus 1 because k is equal to 1 here how many no examples are there that is 5 k into x is 3 so we got this particular value so previously we were having you can see here that's a probability of outlook is equal to overcast given no is 0 but now we have 0 0.125 over here so what we did is we have used laplace uh, estimator and uh, removed that particular zero probability issue in a new base classifier over here i have already discussed uh, this particular concept in detail as i said earlier the link for that video is given in the description below now coming back to the remaining two attributes that is humidity and uh, uh, temperature both of them are you can say that continuous valid attributes so we cannot continue directly over here or we cannot calculate the conditional probabilities for that reason we calculate first mean and standard deviation and then we calculate uh, the conditional probabilities using the gaussian distribution or normal distribution in this case now uh, how to calculate mean mean is always equal to summation of xi divided by n here that is n is the number of examples uh, standard deviation delta is always equal to summation of xi minus mu bracket square divided by n minus 1 over here i will show uh, this calculation for one attribute here that is uh, mu of temperature is equal to s yes. temperature is equal to s yes. only s yes example i will consider so what is that 83 plus 70 plus 64 plus 81 that is all we need to add dot 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 i have written here divided by total number of examples that is 9 are there so you will get 73 here similarly standard deviation standard deviation of temperature in s examples only s so how to calculate it xi minus mu bracket square so xi is what 83 mu is what 73 so 83 minus 73 bracket square plus second s example is over here that is 70 70 minus 73 bracket square plus dot 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 and the last one only i have written that is 81 81 minus 73 bracket square divided by n minus 1 that is 9 minus 1 which is equal to 6.2 over here so we have calculated the mean of temperature in s examples standard deviation of uh, uh, temperature in s examples similarly we have to calculate in no example and the same thing should be done for humidity also for both s and no examples once you do that particular thing you will get these values over here so once you get this uh, mean and the standard deviation you can use the normal uh, distribution to come up with these probabilities what are they we have these two things left in our example that is temperature is equal to 60 humidity is equal to 62 here that is probability of temperature is equal to 60 given is probability of temperature is equal to 60 given no same thing goes with this particular humidity also here now to calculate this particular thing we use as i said earlier normal distribution equation the equation looks something like this that is uh, probability of fx is always equal to 1 divided by standard deviation square root of uh, 2 pi e is to minus x minus mu bracket square divided by 2 times standard deviation square here so x is for example if you are trying to calculate this one the x is equal to 60 here and uh, the temperature is equal to 60 given is so in temperature yes uh, mean and standard deviation we need to use similarly if you are trying to calculate this one mean and standard deviation with respect to no we need to use and x is equal to 60 again here 
for this one x is equal to 62 humidity is equal to yes uh, mean and standard deviation we need to use for this one x is equal to 62 humidity is equal to no mean and standard deviation we need to use here so once you use those particular values you will get these particular four equations and once you solve it you will get the values for all those particular four probabilities here once you calculate all these particular probabilities we have calculated the probabilities for all these particular four we have already calculated these two things now we have calculated these two things also now finally we need to use this uh, particular equation or posterior probability equation to make a decision about this particular new example the new example is given here we have all the conditional probabilities with us as well as we have already calculated the uh, prior probabilities that is probability of s and probability of no over here now what we need to calculate probability of s given new example probability of no given new example we need to calculate what is probability of s given new example probability of outlook is equal to overcast because it is given over here i hope you can see it given s yes. probability of temperature is equal to 60 given s yes. probability of humidity is equal to 62 given s yes. probability of wind is equal to false given s yes. probability of s yes here that's a prior probability Similarly, probability of outlook is equal to overcast given no, that is no we have to write here. Same thing is done everywhere, wherever there is yes, we need to put no over here. So, this is a second equation. And if you come back to this first equation, you can see here, probability of outlook is equal to overcast given yes. We have already calculated it. What is the value? This one, 0 0.4161. So, the same value I have written here. Probability of temperature is equal to 60 given yes. We have already calculated 0 0.071. Uh, coming back to this one, humidity is equal to 61, again we have calculated here, humidity is equal to 62 given as 0 0.096, yes we have written here, 667 as I shown already, and uh, probability of yes, probability of yes is this one, 9 by 14. So once you put all these things and then you solve it, you will get this particular thing. Similarly, we have to calculate this one. Uh, and if you put all those particular values, you will get this particular value. And denominator is common here because uh, uh, in the Navy's classifier, we don't worry much about this particular denominator. We calculate only the numerator part here. And if you look at this particular numerator part, 1.22 into 10 raised to minus uh, 5 is the probability of S given uh, E. And 3.02 into 10 raised to minus 7 is probability of no given E here. And if you we'll compare these two things, this is more than the second one. So you can say that the new example is classified as yes in this particular case. This is how uh, you can use new base classifier with the Gaussian distribution to classify the new example into one of the classes. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.